when sending form data to template. Python Flash Tutorial for Beginners Before writing functions, we have to create HTML pages, right? Home page, login page and dashboard page. So here we already created a HTML pages. How we will send form data to template? Let's consider Go Get My Guru Mart is the application. In home page of Go Get My Guru Mart, when you click on login button, it will go to login page of Go Get My Guru Mart. So when you enter correct username and password, click on submit button, it will go to Go Get My Guru Mart dashboard page. Else, if you enter wrong password, it will come to home page of Go Get My Guru Mart. Admin is the username sending as a data to the dashboard page. So let's start writing Python Flash script for sending form data to template in VS Code. Writing code for home page. So here take HTML file. In title we'll write go get my guru mark. So in home page need to display welcome to go get my guru mark. So I'll take h1 tag. In h1 tag we'll write welcome to go get my guru mark. In home page need link for login page. So we'll take np tag. So in hreference we'll write url underscore for login. And here we'll write go to log. In future, I may add CSS file, CSS file to this HTML file. So I'll take p tag. In p tag, class is equal to anchor iPhone button. Now home.html file is ready. Next, we need to code for login.html. In login page, what we need? We have to make user to enter the username and password. And also, we have to make user to send the data to the another page by clicking submit button. So select HTML file. We'll write Go Get My Guru Mart login as the title. To display Welcome to Go Get My Guru Mart login page, we'll take H1 tag. In H1 tag, we'll write Welcome to Go Get My Guru Mart login page. Next, what we have to do? We need two text boxes, right? To enter username and password, we'll take P tag. In P tag, we'll take input. In input tag, we'll select type is equal to text and name is equal to name. And to enter password, we'll take one more P tag, input tag and we'll select type is equal to text pass. To display username in front of text, we'll write username and here password. And for submit button, we'll take one more P tag and in P tag, we'll take input tag. In input tag, we'll select submit and we'll give name enter. So next, we have to link this login.html to app.py. How we will do by taking form tag. Here we will write http colon double slash 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 slash login. And we will write method well post. This link you will get after running python flash script. For form tag we will create a class for future use class is equal to login iPhone form. Here I will take section tag. In section tag I will create one class is equal to login hyphen section. So now we'll close form tag and section tag. Now login.html page is ready. Let's consider user will enter correct username and password and he will click on submit button. Then should go to go get my guru mart dashboard page. So in go get my guru mart dashboard page should display message welcome admin because admin is the username and also link for logout. So select html file. In title we'll write go get my guru mark dashboard. To display welcome with username we'll take p tag. We'll select strong and here we'll write welcome curly bracket. Here we'll give name. This name variable stores the username. In html to store data we'll use curly brackets. We'll create logout link by taking anchor tag. So now all the html pages are ready. Next we have to create CSS file. First we'll start from home.html page. Here we'll take one section tag class is equal to index iPhone header iPhone section. This is the name of the class. So we'll copy this class name index hyphen header hyphen section and anchor iPhone button. These are the classes which we have taken in home.html page. To display welcome to go get my guru mark in center we have taken text align and for color color option. To make decoration for login page, select it text align center and background color bisque in login iPhone section class and margin 50px and color black in login iPhone form class and selected margin as 0px. Dashboard.html page to display message in left side, selected text iPhone align as left and font size is 25px in dashboard iPhone section class and to display logout link. In right side of the Go Get My Guru Mart dashboard page, select it text align has a right. So now next job is to link this CSS file to all HTML files. 
first we'll go to home.html page so here we'll write type is equal to text slash css and in href we'll write url underscore for static file name is equal to custom.css static is the folder name in static folder we have created custom.css file give link to all html pages so then come to app.py file here we'll write function with the default home written render underscore so here which html page we want to render by default it should show home.html so here here we'll import render underscore template then we'll write route function decorator at app dot route slash we'll take one more function with name home we'll written once again home.html why because when user click on logout link in go get my guru dashboard page it should come to the home page here we'll write app dot route function decorator slash home then next condition is when user enter correct username and password in login page of go get my guru mart it should render dashboard dot html page else it should render home dot html page so we'll take one more function called def login so here we'll write if request dot method is equal to is equal to post username is equal to request dot form name user password is equal to request dot form password if user name is equal to admin and user password is equal to admin one two three then return dashboard dot html page to render dashboard dot html page we'll use function render underscore template and here we'll write dashboard dot html comma name is else return Written render underscore template. If username and password is wrong, then it should go to home dot html. Here we'll write home dot html. If method is get method, then username is equal to request dot arguments dot get name. Written render underscore template login dot html. So we'll write route function decorator for login function at app dot route slash login. So we'll write here methods. Is equal to post comma get. So let's see the code from beginning. First, we created home dot html page. That is default home page of Go Get My Guru Mart. Here it will display Welcome to Go Get My Guru Mart and link for login page. So when you click on Go to Login link, it will go to the login page of Go Get My Guru Mart. In login page, in login page you will get text boxes to enter username and password. By clicking submit button, you can send username and password. If username and password is correct, then it will go to the Go Get My Guru Mart dashboard. Here it will display welcome with username. In app.py, we have imported a flask and we created a three functions. First function is def default home. In this function, it will render home.html. After running this code, by default, it will display home.html page. Here we selected a method as post method in login.html page. So, whatever the username and password you enter in login page, it won't be displaying Go Get My Guru Mart dashboard page. So, now we'll run this code. So, click on this follow link. By default, it will display the home page of Go Get My Guru Mart and it will display the message Welcome to Go Get My Guru Mart with Go to Login link. When you click on this Go to Login link, it will go to the Go Get My Guru Mart login page displays the message welcome to go get my guru mart login page here you have to enter username and password so enter username and password username is admin and password is admin123 and click on submit button here you can see the go get my guru mart dashboard page with message welcome admin and logout link this is the post call till login page it will be get call after submitting Username and password, it will become the post call. When you click on this logout link, it will go to home page of Go Get My Guru Mart. Use, subscribe to our channel and write feedback in the comment section.